Hello, everybody. Welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty. We are working on a new monthly scrapbooking kit as part of the team over at the Counterfeit Kit Challenge. And Counterfeit Kit means just that. We find a kit in the world that we are inspired by, and we set out to create our own version. This month's kit is a digi kit from sweetshopdesigns.com, and I will have all these links for you below if you want to go check these things out. Um, you can also purchase these kits and print out elements if you are kind of that hybrid scrapper mindset, which I am. Um, I don't own this kit. I probably won't purchase this kit. I am just going to go with a really simple interpretation of this kit this time around. And we have the overview of the main kit. We also have a bit of a look at the pocket cards. And let's dive a little bit deeper into this. I'm not going to linger too much because I want to keep this quick this time around. But as you can see, we have a complete autumn vibe going on, not only with the phrases, but with iconography like acorns and sunflowers. But it has this pop of denim in there, which I find really intriguing. And I like some of the wood grain elements. And then down here are all the pattern papers. I know the team did put together, let me see which tab it's in, not that one, this one. The team did put together, because some of our team members own this kit, they put together a little graphic of all of the patterns and uh, I'll probably put that on my blog so that you can take a closer look at that if you're curious about what all these patterns are. Um, for now, I am going to give you another look at these pocket cards and then we're going to call that a good peek at things and, and I've mentioned some of the things that inspire me but I always make a list and then head to my stash. So that is that, and let me go to my stash and find some things to build this kit. All right, off camera, I did go ahead and make myself a list, which you can see right here. I really did try to keep it small, although <laughs> when you start picking papers, then you can see a lot of potential in a lot of things. So it ended up being a little bit bigger than I expected, but not, not too bad. I did start with wood grains, because that's definitely one of my favorites. Now... I went looking for some Jen Hadfield because I knew a specific collection had some colors that I was looking for. And when I was looking for that, I found this Pink Fresh collection and I liked some of those prints. So I ended up pulling out, I think, four of those prints, which I'll get to here in just a moment. Um, but later on in the process, I did end up finding some of the Jen Hadfield I had been looking for. I had already split it out of its designer category into my other kind of pattern categories that I keep. So that explained why I couldn't find it. At any rate, I did pull out these four pieces from that Pink Fresh, Pink Fresh collection, which has some of the vibes from the kit, including plaids, some darker blues. It's not really denim or navy, but these two pieces had some denim vibe going on with it, and I couldn't quite decide, and I am not too sure I like that larger denim stripe because I've looked at it for a few different kits, and I haven't really chosen it or... If it made it into a kit, it hasn't been used. So yeah, it's interesting that I kind of keep skipping that one. All right, here is the Flower Child collection from Jen Hadfield. And I thought there was a stripe that I had that I was looking for, but I found this scallop and I like the color vibe of that. So that will stay. I did find a more mustardy yellow plaid. So I ended up finding a lot of plaids and I had to cut back on those. Um, there were... There was some kind of corally pink polka dots, and my coral here is too coral, too orangey, and my pink here is too pink, so I have to kind of split the difference and see what I want to go with. I do decide, I think, to go with the more pink one because it matched, it just matched up a little bit better with some of the other selections in here. And then, and then I had a collection of florals because there were a lot of florals as options in this, and here's another piece of the Flower Child collection, and I think that piece will make it into the kit. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting organized, because I was really just a, a mad woman coming down here and just kind of throwing everything on the table. Um, I'm kind of behind schedule in all, my, in all my life, and so I'm trying to get caught up in the next couple of days, and so this kit building went a little more wild than I usually get. All right, so you saw I chose a couple of those florals as the final pieces for the pattern papers. And then we're moving on to embellishments. I knew there was a felt 
sunflower in the inspiration, and I totally wanted to go that direction. Instead of making phrase pieces ahead of time, I'm just going to put in some phrase stamps from scrapbook.com in this honeybee phrase die so that I can make whatever works for whatever page I'm lay or I'm working on and I don't have to make them ahead of time when my busy is so, when my schedule is so busy. There is an older Amy Tan stamp set there. I did find a couple of fibers in close enough colors. And then here is my felt. If you have never die cut felt, I encourage you to give it a try. And if you come back on the 4th, I'm going to be making a project with die cutting felt. So that will be full of hints and tips and tricks if you want to know more about that. I also pulled out my trusty roll of cork that I've had for many years. I only, I will cut off a small section of this because I never go through much of it, but I like the texture that it adds. So I use little pieces of it here and there when it works. And then out of the laziness, I just grabbed my whole entire folder of fall themed embellishments. So I've got chipboard, I've got stickers, I've got chipboard stickers, <laughs> I've got frames. There's a few cool die cuts in here, uh, some word phrases for autumn slash fall. I actually use both words. I mean, in America, we use the word fall most often, but I actually like the word autumn and I use it um, kind of interchangeably a lot of the time. So I, I like having both those words. And then I almost forgot my alphabets, but I managed to grab them at the very end. And that completes my kit for this time. I will be doing a mini kit on the 6th and a very specific project with that. So I hope you will come back both on the 4th for that felt die cutting and again on the 6th for my mini kit and project. So until then, I hope you have an artful day.